Hello everyone. My name is Min Jin Choi. I am a graduate student at SKKU South Korea. I will introduce our work, session aware linear item item models for session based recommendation. This work has collaborated with Jin Hong Kim, Jun Seok Lee, Han Jung Shim, and Jung Lee. First, let me start with the motivation. The session based recommendation is quietly different from the traditional recommendation. The session based recommend models only use the current session information without user information. And actually, user information, user identification <coughs> is unknown in many services. Session histories are much shorter than the user history because a single user history can be divided into multiple session histories. The below is an example of a session-based recommendation. The user history is divided into three anonymous session histories. Although many kinds of session-based models have been developed and performed well, existing methods have some limitations. First, DNN-based models suffer scalability issues, especially when the data set size is too large, it becomes a serious problem. Second, neighborhood-based models cannot capture the compressed item dependencies. Also, the models cannot use the helpful session information if the session is not neighbor. Then, how to build the scalable and accurate session-based recommendation model? We try to solve this problem using linear models considering session characteristics. First, we utilize linear models for the session-based recommendation. The below model shows a linear model for the traditional recommendation systems. It achieves the state-of-the-art performance. We can apply this model to the session-based recommendation by replacing users with sessions. However, this simple method is much worse than the existing session-based models. So, we, we, we formulate the objective function of linear models for the session-based recommendation. Second, some unique characteristics are often observed in sessions, and we utilize them for the model design. The four session characteristics are as follows. First, some items have specific orders. We create sequential dependency. In the below example, the pants and shoes show it. Second, items appearing in a particular session have a high correlation with each other items. We create session consistency. The blue session can be thought of as a session per tabs. Third, sessions can reflect trends at that time. We create timeliness of sessions. In the green box, the identical items appear in the different sessions. Finally, a user may consume the same item multiple times in a single session. We create repeated item consumption. For example, the purple box item appeared twice in the same session. So we design a linear model considering these characteristics for the session-based recommendation. Now, I would like to introduce the proposed method, SLIST. We devised two linear models. 
one runs item similarity and the other runs item transition. And we unify the two models to fully capture the complex relationship. For the linear models, each session history must be converted into vector forms. And it can be done two ways. First, a session can be transformed into a single vector to capture the relationship between items while ignoring the sequential order. We call it full session representation. It allows the model to consider session consistency. Second, according to each time step, a session can be divided into past sessions and future sessions. We create partial session representation. By using it, the model runs sequential dependency. Past vectors are used as input to the linear models and Future vectors are used as the output that the linear models infer. A linear model that uses full session representation is SLIS, which means session aware item similarity model. It runs to capture the similarity between items. The matrix X is created by full session representation and SLIS is trained by restoring X from X. Also, there is a constraint that the diagonal element of weight matrix B is equal to or less than psi. It makes the model consider the repeated item consumption while preventing the weight matrix B from becoming the identity matrix. In the model figure, each cell represents the similarity between the items. The darker the color, the higher the similarity. A linear model that uses partial session representation is SLIP, which means session-aware item transition model. It runs the sequential dependency across, across the items. The past matrix S and the future matrix T are made by partial session representation. And SLIP is trained to infer T from S. Each cell represents the transition probability from item to item. The darker the color, the higher the transition probability. Finally, we unify the SLIP and SLIP to consider sequential dependency and session consistency together. The unifying model is SLIST, which means session-aware item similarity transition model. And it can be obtained by jointly optimizing each model's objectives. In order to better consider the session characteristics, we introduce some weight decay to the models. To consider the timeliness of sessions, we assign higher weights for the recent sessions using W time. And to better consider the sequential dependency, we highlight the current items in the sessions using W pulse and W imp. Here is the objective function and the inference method of SLIST. It jointly optimizes SLIST and SLIT with a hyperparameter alpha, which controls the importance ratio between two models. And we can derive the closed form solution from this objective function. After training the model, we can make an inference by transforming each session using the partial representation. In the inference phase, the recent item has higher importance using WIMP. Now, let me introduce the experiments. 
We use several kinds of data sets with various characteristics to verify our experiments. These are, <coughs> these are YouTube's Digenetica, Retail Rocket, and Malfrain datasets. For the simplicity of presentation, only YouTube's and Digenetica are shown here. And actually, we can observe similar tendencies with the other datasets. We use the iterative reviewing scheme to evaluate each model. In other words, we iteratively expose the item of a session to the model. At each step, the remaining items are used as the test items. For evaluation metrics, we use hit ratio, MRR, recall, and MAP. Uh, we compare the proposed method with two neighborhood-based models, SKNN and STEN, and four DNN-based models, GRE4A+, plus, NARM, STEM, and SRGNN. Here is the proposed uh, comparison experiments. The rate boarded values are the highest scores for our linear models. The blue underlying values are the highest baseline scores for each data set. As you can see, the unified model SLIST shows higher performance than the two base models SLIS and SLIM. Also, proposed methods show competitive accuracy with the baseline models in all data sets. And we compare the training time of models with different data, data set size. When the data set size is small, the DNN-based models can be trained fast enough. However, the training time grows proportionally with the data set size, so it goes getting slower. On the other hand, SLIS shows consistent training time regardless of the data set size. This is because the computational complexity is mainly proportional to the number of items, not the number of sessions. Finally, when we use the full data set, SLIST can be about 700 times faster than SRGNN. We also looked at the impact of its weight components. Using all components was better than not using some components. Among them, considering recent items at the inference pace is most important factor. It means the previous item is most relevant to the next item. Finally, let me summarize the overall contents. Our item item models for the session based recommendation, which utilize various characteristics of sessions. And SLIS showed great perf performance for the session based recommendation in exhaustive experiments. Last, SLIS is highly scalable thanks to cross form solutions. And the computational complexity is proportional to the number of items. Thank you for hearing the presentation. If you have any questions, please email me.